again, it's Thursday and I've got another day off. He has indeed got another day off because two days in a row is good, you know. You have no idea what you're talking about, do you? No, I don't. I, I don't have a job, so I don't really know. So. Anyway, a recent poll was conducted on U-Switch, I believe it was, about countries in Europe and the quality of life within them, the quality of living there. And apparently Britain lost it right at bottom. Ouch. Now we have to bear in mind, first of all, U-Switch is a British comparison website. Yeah. For gas and electricity. I have no idea why they'd want to do a study on the quality of life of Spain and compare it to England. But we'll, we'll leave you switch's decisions aside for a second and take a look at this poll. And what does the poll say? The poll says that in the top five, there was France out at the top, then there was Spain, Denmark, Poland and Germany. The Last three might be a little muddled up because I have my memory's copy. So you're looking at that and you're looking at England being at the bottom. Mm. Apparently our quality what what's wrong with our quality of life? Um apparently probably have something to do with the government and the fact that we're all apparently miserable and poor. Well I speak for one of those. Well I am pretty poor. Well, I, I speak for um, 700 of those, considering I'm about very poor. We've been thinking, what does England not have that the other countries have? Mm -hmm. And we've come up with some answers. Why don't we step over to the newsroom? Yeah. If you compare Britain to other countries in Europe, preferably France and Spain, you get tourists and things tourists want to go to, like beaches. Because apparently beaches over there are a lot better than beaches over here. And they also like to go visit the cultural places, you know, like the Eiffel Tower. So we have to ask ourselves, what is it about these cultural places that makes people in other countries have a better way of life than people down here? Now, it's been shown that people down there obviously have more holidays, they're higher wage, they're not in as much debt as we are down here, I assume, because that is a big number. But what it doesn't mean is that people over here are any less cheerful than people over there. So you've got to be asking yourself, what exactly is it that makes people happier over there, somewhere in France, Spain or whatever, than over here in Britain? Well, there is a very good answer, and that is, I guess it has a lot more culture than us. Which again is a common thing. People always like the culture. Everyone's just thinking that we are the most miserable country in Europe. We are no more miserable than the rest of Europe. So if you think you know why Britain is so miserable in the eyes of the polling public, leave a comment down there or a video response down there. And this has been it for my day off. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Well, I hope. You're going to enjoy yourself watching a more hilarious YouTube video. And I might see if I can make a more cheerful one on Saturday because it's been quite melodramatic this week. But I've got a cold, so that can't be helped. I'll see you guys on Saturday for the third instalment of my three-day week off. Three-week day off. Three, three, one week, three day, three, one, for, for, for the third day off video this week, yeah.